it's, um, it's been a while uh, without posting anything like a video here but i met this young boxer called chamba de amos he's eight years old and my oh my i was impressed by the skill set this kid has and yeah let's just go through this fight together and he, he is preparing for the fight and uh, having the last words from his coaches from his coach actually yeah the referee uh, preparing him his opponent is actually from my club zebra boxing club and he's also a nice fighter so the reason i recorded this video is because this boy met me before the fight and he was like hey zebra i like you i'm always looking up to your fights and uh, i like your style and i'm always copying a few tricks from you so i wanted to record this video so that so that i could uh, look look at it and maybe give him a few pointers here and there and i didn't expect to see this i didn't expect to see this kind of skill set uh, he's a very nice boxer he's very impressive at his age i remember i told you he's just eight years of, of age and if he continues like this he continues training and uh, getting better and better with his skill set and getting better and better with his attitude in the ring and the way he moves and the way he does everything the way he carries his his intuition is just very he's so professional at, the, at this at this age so um, i'm looking at him and seeing a very bright future for him for uganda and yeah i will be proud uh, in 10 years to 15 years to come when he is a world champion and i'm what inspired him to join boxing jabs well goes out blocks after after hitting the, his inside fighting is very impressive when he's in a clinch oh my god this boy he has a flashy jab we see that here he first he first blocks and then he counter punches his boxers his jab is very nice man one to right there It's hands down now. Many boxers would be quite devastated to fight in front of a crowd such as the one that was at the arena yesterday. And kudos to both these boxers for, for doing it and executing their skill sets. So end of round one, um, two minutes gone. Uh, the box go to the corners to meet with their coaches for some refreshment and give them a few tips here and there to what they can use to overcome their opponents. Uh, here you can see Chambade uh, is a little out of breath, but still in, he's still in shape and yeah, still good to go. Freshman's done and Chabada is fired up, fired up for round two. A uh, little grit. That's, there's the flashy jab I told you about and the one two. It blocks and then it comes in with a hole. Yeah, he, he kind of does a shoulder, shoulder roll for the finisher. Now the style. Pulls back. One two again. Very nice boxer. Blocks the punches and then tries to counter with the hook. Very confident in his style. Right and then an uppercut. This boy. So for those who can be here, uh, listen or hear Lukanda, uh, you can hear in the background of the video, I was saying that he, he what, what, he, what he had told me before his fight, that he copies, that he copies me and he looks up to me and I was mesmerized, I was very, very, very hyped and all that stuff. This boy is very good for his age and that's why 
the box of Amaji and couldn't even compete with him. He was getting a beating in there. This boy is very clean cut, clear cut and does everything right and yeah, he's very good, he's very good and I like him. Uh, he's my little brother now and I will always look out for him, always. End of round two and it was very interesting um, even more interesting than round one was uh, a better performance by chamber day and quite a better performance from the opening too but uh, regardless uh, chamber is coming out the victor because his opponent is really getting a beating in here and round three let's go for round three So he comes in straight to action and uh, ain't no jabbing like round one and two was. He comes in with some body shots and combinations, very impressive combinations. Yeah, he, he rolls and then comes, uh, comes up with an uppercut. Uh, he's the referee trying to caution the red corner, the opening in the red corner, uh, telling him not to step in Chabadi's foot. So his, hand, his hand speed is quite impressive too. Because the way at the speed at which he releases his punches, if the opponent were to release his punches at, at, at the same speed, there would be a very good uh, com competition going on. Uh, a standing gate count for the opponent uh, after Chamber Day landed uh, quite a few number of good shots. And I think uh, the opponent was beating right, right there, so the referee had to clean it up. Subscribe to my channel and yeah, make sure you're tuned in. Like and comment if you.